So this race is from a week ago uh, Sunday, uh, June 25th at Mid Ohio. Before I get into that race, I just want to say thank you to SBRA. I won the uh, Sprint Championship uh, last year for Group 9. means I went to the most races of everybody, probably. Uh, they've been trying to give it to me for a while, so thanks a lot. It's really very cool. Um, I finished uh, first in my class today uh, and second uh, to Group 9, so I got a silver and a gold medal. Uh, this is the podium with Craig and first David Rue here, who's uh, giving me the Portland <laughs> congratulations. I actually started in third in my class and managed to pass David earlier in the race and then um, pass Tom with the help of a black flag. I don't think the black flag would have mattered. I think I was going to pass him anyway, but it certainly hurt him and made him go all the way back to third. Sorry about that, Tom. The external video shots are from the same place as yesterday, which is over here at Thunder Valley. You can see turns 9 through 13 through the carousel. And um, I don't know why, but I always like showing rolling off the grid here a little bit. I uh, do want to mention that Tom and David had faster individual laps than me, but I finished in front of them, and that's the exact opposite of yesterday's situation. So kind of a strange weekend, a lot of fun racing, a lot of close racing, as you'll see here. Switching to uh, native audio for the start. first start was aborted. There was a car that uh, conked out right before we uh, came onto the front straight and got everybody all out of sorts there. So they just had us restart here on the second lap. I think I started seventh or sixth right after David now and uh, that big car was in the way. So I was kind of happy to, to just let the, the race get started here. Tom is up in front of the, I think it's a two liter uh, sports racer there in front of David in the yellow car. So I'm within reach of my real competitors and uh, looking forward to, to, to a fun race here. Not thinking too much more about it. The big Lola there goes, got a big V8 in it, I think. He was, he was pretty fast. It took him a lap or so here to get his way past David and all. I'm kind of in the middle of the track here. Nobody was right behind me and I'm just uh, giving myself an escape route in case they have an issue. And this is up over Madness, and down into the S's, I think it's called. And I'll switch back to uh, native audio for a little bit until something starts to happen here. If you note the gauge up in the top left there, you'll see we just uh, skipped all the way to the beginning of the fourth lap. I uh, was waiting for that Lola to get out of the way, and Dave and Tom weren't that far in front, but I did kind of let myself get a little far behind. But uh, as that Lola actually gets around them, I think on this lap here, that bad and me just pressing a little harder allows me to catch back up to them and uh, get ready to have our race. Uh, based on yesterday's race, we finished in Tom and David and myself in that order, and so I thought we might finish this way today, but I start picking it up here. And uh, 
as you can see here, it says I skipped to the halfway to the fourth lap right here. And Lola just went around. Now he's slowing them down, and so it allows me to catch back up. And now we can actually start our race. Um, David looks like he's pretty doing pretty good there, and uh, pressuring Tom a little bit. They probably think I'm way back, so they don't really realize I'm coming up here. Uh, but they seem to be on a roll here. The uh, last lap, 136, so it's not that quick, but I think this one will be a little quicker, maybe like two seconds quicker, like 134 or so. Tires are up to temp and everything. So uh, we'll watch this uh, here with native audio as I switch to the external view. And that'll just show you that it's, it looks pretty far behind, but I'm only a couple car lengths behind. As the notation indicates, I uh, skipped uh, most of the fifth lap, and we're just starting the sixth lap here. I've got myself right behind David here. Uh, we'll, when we get to the external shots, I think you'll be able to see how close. Or, actually, I think maybe this is where I pass him down into uh, turn uh, four, which is the, after this back straight. I pass him on the braking and going into madness, and then I take off after uh, Tom. Uh, for whatever reason, Tom is about to get a black flag at the end of this lake, and apparently from something that happened on lap one, I never saw it, so sorry, Tom. There we go. Nice pass here on the braking, and now I'm chasing Tom. We don't know about the black flag yet. I'm just chasing him, driving hard. As you can see here, I'm catching Tom pretty quickly anyway, but as I mentioned, the black flag comes into play here on the front straight. It's a little hard to see. If you look to your left here, there's a little white strip there. There's a black flag and a point it at Tom. Tom and I are both a little confused by that as you see here. This is the external side of that. You can also see what it is like right behind me. He hasn't given up just to the past and they have to turn again. Black flag, now Tom and I have to show up. So it could be, I thought it was for me maybe, but didn't seem like it. And uh, Tom slows up a little bit. And, I, well, actually I think he's still thinking about it and I'm still thinking about it and we're just driving here. But as we go into the keyhole here, and I'm catching him anyway. I think he's thinking, well, he's got to go in. And then he kind of changes his mind uh, going down the back straight. You'll see that here in just a second. There we go. See, he's kind of pulling over, but then I think he changes his mind. So down here at the end of the back straight, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to pass him on the outside, but he's up. He's really moving along again, so he moves over in front. I just go down the inside, hit the brakes, and pass him pretty easily there. And then, like I said, he'll disappear from the rest of the shots. He is going to go in for a um, drive through the uh, pits for the black flag. And repeating myself quickly, I didn't see anything that deserved that, but maybe some, maybe somebody else did.
I think he just caught a glimpse of that car there. He was uh, going slow, some kind of mechanical issue. So there's a yellow flag. I slowed up a little. As you saw from the external view, uh, David was right up behind me. And we basically got two laps to go, lap 9 and 10. Um, I had just done a 133, then the yellow flag slowed us down a little bit. Here's lap 9. This uh, ninth lap is my second fastest lap of the day. Uh, fortunately, I saved the fastest one for the last lap, the tenth lap, as you'll see. And a good thing because David did the same thing. And I think I pick up almost a second, and I think it's just from following his line uh, through this uh, turn four, five, six section that's often referred to as madness. And actually, I think we'll skip the rest of this lap and we'll go straight to. Uh, the end of lap 9 and, and cover all of lap 10, which is the fastest one. As you heard my wife say, and some waving, this is uh, the last lap. The uh, one I just did was actually 133 two and now the tenth lap is my fastest and it's a good thing because I think David is doing his fastest lap right now which is about half a second quicker than mine but he just uh, couldn't make a pass like I talk about here as I go over uh, down through turn four here to the right and then up over the top of the hill that they call madness in the turn five and six uh, so I'm going to go back to native audio and we'll uh, just watch this lap in the shower I think my wife Carrie Ann urging me on while she's shooting the video and there's David and I acknowledging each other we really had a great race really enjoyed it it was very close there at the end and we did our best laps together at the end doesn't get a lot better than that uh, this is uh, my crew chief Bob Morris in the middle and teammate Dennis Firestone couldn't be doing all this racing without either one of them that's for sure uh, that's my sister. Her and her husband uh, came from uh, Virginia, seven hours away by car, to uh, watch us race, and we just had such a great weekend. Uh, thanks to everybody. This is her husband, Lee, and uh, look forward to the next one. And last but not least, by a mile, Jeff Schulte. Thanks so much for helping out the last three weeks. Randy Oceans, our transport driver and scooter. I uh, couldn't have done it without you guys. Thanks so much.